Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain uh, different cases of these S matrix parameters in the E plane T junction. In the last video, I have explained the calculation of S matrix parameters of the E plane T junction. So, what is the S matrix? S matrix of E plane T junction is size of S matrix is 3 by 3. 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, minus 1 by root 2, and it is 0. This is the S matrix of this E plane disjunction. Now we know the relation. We know that B is equal to S into A. If you write in terms of matrix, it is B into S into A. How many ports that E plane T junction has? Three ports. So B1, B2, B3 are there. A1, A2, A3 are there. So we can write this as B1, B2, B3 as a column matrix that is equal to S. Already we know S of this E plane disjunction 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2 and 1 by 2, 1 by 2 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 and it is 0 into a. A is nothing but A1, A2, A3. Okay. This is the relation B is equal to S into A. Now, B1 is equal to multiply this row 1 into column. So, 1 by 2 A1 plus 1 by 2 A2 plus 1 by root 2 A3. That is B1. And similarly, B2 is equal to root into this one b3 is equal to root 3 into this i will write here so b1 is equal to 1 by 2 a1 plus 1 by 2 a2 plus 1 by root 2 a3 that is equal to first equation next b2 is equal to 1 by 2 a1 plus 1 by 2 a2 minus 1 by root 2 a3 that is second equation and b3 is equal to 1 by root 2 a1 minus 1 by root 2 a2 that is third equation now case study <clears throat> Let us see different cases, apply, assume different conditions on the inputs and outputs, apply on these B1, B2, B3 so that we can assume what could be the values of outputs. Okay, so what is the E plane T junction diagram? So E plane T junction E plane T junction is having the port along the electric field see this is the e plane t junction so, for this E plane D junction, three ports are there. This is the first port, this is second port and this is the third port also known as E port or E arm. Okay. Now, assume a condition like a 
case 1 what is this case 1 input is given at input is given at port 3 and no input at port 1 and port 2. See here. Now we have taken first condition as input is applied at the port 3. Input is applied at the port 3 and no inputs are applied at port 1 and port 2. That means port 1 and port 2 are kept as output ports in this condition and port 3 is observed as input port. Okay. Now E1, A2, A3. Among these three, these three are incident waves. A1 is the incident power at first port. A2 is the incident power at second port and A3 is incident power at the third port. Now which is existed and which is not existed as third port is acting as input port. A3 is existed that's why A3 is not equal to 0 and A1 is equal to A2 is equal to 0. A1 is equal to A2 equal to 0. Because those two are not observed as input ports, they are observed as the output ports. Now apply these conditions in these three equations, then what about B1? B1 is equal to A1 equal to A2 equal to 0. So this one equal to 0, this one equal to 0 and this is A3 by root 2. A3 by root 2, that is from the first equation. From the second equation, the value of the B2 is a1 equal to a2 equal to 0. So, first and second terms goes and third term is minus a3 by root 2. Minus a3 by root 2. This is the b2. Next, coming to b3, <coughs> b3 equal to a1 equal to 0, a2 equal to 0 and a3 term is not there in that equation. So, completely b3 is equal to 0. How can you conclude this? b1 equal to a3 by root 2 and b3, b2 equal to minus a3 by root 2. If you, <coughs> if you remember the h plane t junction, in that h plane t junction case study also, we have assumed this type of condition as a3 is not equal to 0 and a1, a2 are zeros. In that condition, b1, b2 we have got as equal powers like a3 by root 2 and a3 by root 2. I am talking about h plane t junction. That means as the powers are equal and they are 3db powers, we can say the h plane t junction is a 3db splitter. But in the case of this e plane t junction, it is of course the, it is giving the equal power but with out of phase. Okay. When input is applied at port 3 the power from port 1 and port 2 are the powers from port 1 and port 2 are equal but out of phase out of phase they are having 180 degrees out of phase 180 degrees one out of phase is nothing but 180 degrees one is positive with respect to other one okay coming to the case 2 second case so, what is the second case exactly opposite for the first case? Input is now applied at port 1 and 2 simultaneously and port 3 is observed as, sorry, that is a H plane D junction. In this, it is a different case. Input is applied at port 1 and 2 and no output is at port 3.
no no input is applied at input is applied at port 1 input is applied at port 1 and no input applied at port 2 and port 3 see you can consider any type of uh, conditions any type of cases that is of your wish so i am i am saying a different case in such a way that port 1 is applied with input and port 2 and 3 are observed as output ports that means what about a1 a2 a3 port 1 is acting as input port so a1 is not equal to 0 and no input is applied at 2 and 3 so a2 is equal to a3 is equal to 0. Now apply these conditions in that equations. What about the value of B1 now? A2, A3, 0. So only first term remains A1 by, sorry, A1 by 2. Uh, it is A1 by 2. It is A1 by 2. Again, A1 by root 2. Those are the values of B1, B2, B3. A1 by 2. B3 equal to minus A1 by root 2 minus a1 by root 2 likewise we can consider a number of uh, equations number of case studies with the different different inputs applied at different ports see here what is the conclusion from this second case when input is applied at the first port then the power reflected back at the first port itself is a1 by 2 that means half of the power is reflected back towards the applied port 1 and remaining of has been divided into 2 and 3 with outer phases a1 by 2 and again minus a1 by root 2 okay so in this way we can consider the number of cases with the different conditions and applications of inputs at different ports so this is about the example case studies of this e plane t junction thank you